Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Julian. I'm here to do my reaction video for season one, episode four of Warrior Nun. This time the title of the episode is Ecclesiasticus 26.9-10. Am I supposed to be reading this thing on the Bible? Because um, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> uh, but anyways, we're here, we're back, we're ready for a new episode of Warrior Nun. I just finished actually watching episode three and it was, it was so good. Beatrice, I'm starting to fall in love with her as well. Cause she's sweet and like kind and empathetic towards Ava. And I love Ava with all my heart, you know? So yeah. Um, but yeah, shit is going down for sure. Shit is going down. Um, what, uh, uh Ava decided to live. And she walked to, and like not not walked away, disappeared. Um, the thing is that I one thing that I really did like is the fact that her her letter, her actually like sh how she writes, um, it's kind of childish since she hasn't been you know she hasn't moved in a long time. You know it will be very weird if it was like cursive or something like that. You know so kind of like that detail. You know so. Anyways, we are going to watch this new episode. Let's see where Ava is. If the, you know, company thing is going to catch her or something. And let's see what they uh, do with this episode. I'm very, very excited. I'm ready to watch it. So hope you guys enjoy. Hope you guys like it. Please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe, comment, hit notification bell. Uncut reaction is always posted for us on Patreon. In case you guys want to check that out, link as always will be in the description down below. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys like it. And without further ado, let's just begin with season one, episode four of Warrior Nun. Here we go. <laughs> Life's unfair, ladies. Take it from me. <laughs> I'm going oh. back to my friends and I'm gonna live the hell out of this life. I'm gonna swim and eat and kiss and dance and maybe even make love to, well, someone, eventually. Oh, I like that she said someone and she actually didn't say like, to a guy. She said someone. And we know she kind of liked JC, but Okay, but you guys have promised me gays, so. Don't look. Just a girl walking home after a tough night. Alone. Nothing to see here. Except. Oh. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Ignore it. No one's asking for a hero. Actually. It's not the life I chose. Really? You're just gonna walk away? Okay, thank you. Oh. Why did we do this? See what you get for being a hero. Okay, this was a, just a really bad example, you know. Why can't I move my body? Hush, little lamb. You've been in a car accident. Your mother is gone. You're a very lucky little girl. You're in my care now. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. She looks evil. I know it's around here somewhere. What? It's around here. JC? Wait. Why are you running away? It is JC. JC? So where is everybody? Uh, I'll take you. Okay, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I love they walked opposite to one another. Has to be a clue for something, right? Good Lord, go. What is that? <laughs> um, my time of the month. Looks like your time of the year. <laughs> Hand her to me, Romeo. I'll find Carrie a prom dress. Oh. Right? And you don't know half of it. You see? 
Yeah. How about we get rid of the blood? Yeah, I think I do. All right then, doll. Let's find you. I really like her. She's really sweet. Shit. We had a good thing going here, JC. You fucked it up by bringing her in. Now you bring her back here. How stupid are you? Stop. Stop it. Stay out, just you weirdo bitch. Do not talk to her like that. Oh. Said, stop! Yeah, maybe Sorry. don't maybe don't show your superpowers to them. You're gonna freak the fuck out of them. And she really needs to control herself. The Tesseract, Tesseract, whatever the name Ava. is, is going to come here now. I wasn't aware we needed saving. Sister Shannon is dead. You have failed to bring the new warrior nun to heal. You have lost the sacred halo. Well, he didn't what lose it. it. He knows where he is. How would you characterize is? our current status? Mm. Now, you're a woman now. So could you at least try to be anything but a burden to everyone around What the you? hell could she do? She can't even move. I am trying, Sister Frances. Well, you know your little joke on how I never left a finger around here? <laughs> <laughs> so she never went to like therapy because like if she can like move a little I love your spirit Small little victories yeah <laughs> look I understand why she's being like that it was really nice knowing you Aww, hey can I go with you sad. wait what what about your friend? What about your gang? I think we might have come to the end of our rope. Oh no, what about... Those aren't real friends. They're... So what, uh, we just hop in a ferry and go where? <laughs> well, we won't. I'd rather be rescued than alone. Okay. Can we bring Chanel to... Oh, that's kind of cute. Oh shit. The what the fuck controls. is he doing? Because you see a uh... Is he on the floor? What the fuck is he doing? <laughs> is he planking? What the fuck is he doing? Oh my lord. But to the secondly, they say to me. This looks ridiculous. Why doesn't she, like, what's her story? I want to know her story. Because, like, why doesn't she dress like the other nuns? And why, if she's not dressed, why is she there? How might I help? Track down the girl. Bring the halo back into our possession. I'll find her. But she'll never come back with me. Willingly. Then I would suggest that her lack of loyalty is a betrayal to the Halo itself. Okay, so you're looking for Perhaps loopholes her to kill her. Be restored by a new Halo bearer. The proper Halo bearer. Oh, fuck you. I thought greed was also a sin. But it's, it's, it is a sin and it is something bad. Only when it doesn't serve them right. Bunch of hypocrites that they are. Are you drinking the holy wine? I think he was. Never did it new Divinium could kill her. And they had enough of it to read the explosion. So are you thinking that the the, the father did no, it? No, because in Azureti tells Ready. us that Salvius has been collecting and studying Divinium. Exactly. I don't think it was hard tech. Wouldn't it make sense that she would keep it somewhere only she could find it? A room she'd have to face into. I'm knocking down that wall. No. No, you're not. If Shannon was murdered, we can't risk drawing unwanted attention. Uh, we need uh, the girl who can go we need through Ava walls. To face into the room. Your birthday is coming up. Oh, I want a motorcycle. And ski. <gasps> oh yeah, jet skis. Oh, that's a high five. <laughs> <laughs> that's Soon. so cute. 
Next month, you'll age out of here. Poor <gasps> cripple girl, out on the street. What is that? No money, no way to make it. What will become of you without me? So you killed her? Wouldn't go past it. Oh, God. West door. Looks optimal. That's oh, what, Beatrice. two and a half meters? We need to clear three meters or we'll fry. Not a problem. Let's go. <laughs> what are we waiting for, B? Shift change. Patience. I can have patience. <laughs> he doesn't look like I you can do. Be calm. <laughs> I like her. Quite stupid shift change. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be nervous. We could expose our sect. And for what? For the protection of our interests. Which interests? The list. I don't know. The Divinium? I noticed you were speaking with the Cardinal alone. Oh shit. Before we left. Careful around this one, Camilla. You should pry into all your business. Only when it affects our business. Shit, yes, Beatrice, go off. Does it? I love that all the other nuns are like, what the fuck are they talking about? <laughs> and it's all. Th Gods oh. will be moving. Something you said about leaving your friends. I thought you don't have any friends here. No, I have one. He's, he's getting worse. Poor crippled girl out in the street. What will become of you without me? I know you killed yourself. Ah, oh, she thinks that she's gonna do the same with Diego. Okay. They're talking about Ava. Maybe we should. On it. Philip. <laughs> she's like, Ava, okay, bye. Camilla, you're up. <laughs> Lily is like, I'm going for my density! Hello? <gasps> oh. You can't be in here. Look, I don't want to hurt you. And we you appreciate can't. that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Camila! Is that Camila? You're gonna have some story to tell your your grandkids. Guys, I was kicked by a bunch of nuns. <laughs> yes. Fuck. We're out of time. Take the others and go. What about you? Yeah, what about Be you? Back at the house cradle. Go. Now what the hell is she gonna do? All of her own? You guys are flying cats now. <gasps> Ay, Dios. A oh, fucking badass. <laughs> yes. Go, Beatrice. Love with this girl. Go off. Even though they're only doing their jobs, but go off. Oh, wait. Oh, she has an armor that protects her from bullets. That's good. <laughs> She has catchphrases. I mean, I'm pretty sure they're not catchphrases there or something. Bible quotes, I'm gonna guess. Look, I'm all for this. Ah, oh, oh, with the 
I thought she actually made it explode. <gasps> Ava. Yes. But you died? Yes. I did. I came back, bitch. You killed me. I cared for you. No, you didn't. I sacrificed my life for you. Until no one asked I was aging you. out of the system, so you put me out of my misery. Fine. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> oh my lord. Was that 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 didn't let you walk? Oh! <laughs> the hay will protect her. Oh! <laughs> oh! Fuck! <laughs> fuck, Ava! Angel de Dios. the one keeping you sick. I'm so sorry I had to see that. Oh, Ava. Are you okay? How the hell did this happen? It was a nun. Very well-trained nun. Very fast nun. We've got the footage. I believe Dr. Salvius needs the divinium content of the shield to complete it. She seems to be applying technology in an attempt to... Activate the Divinium somehow. Activate it to do what? To oh. open the gates of hell. Oh, fuck off. Maybe it's to open the gates of heaven. Killer. Murderer. No. It was self-defense. It was self-defense. She self poisoned defense. me. Tried to kill me. Again. Again, yeah. I've been looking for you. I told you, I'm not going back. It's all right. She's here to take that thing away from you. I only need part of you. Oh, fuck. Okay, guys, so that was the end of season one, episode four of Warrior None. Um, this was a really good episode very good episode just as the previous one things are picking up um a better pace you know what and that's a little bit unfair because like when you're introducing a new show you're on the first season right so things have to take a bit of a, a slower pace because you have because you have to set up you know the characters you have to at least make people remember their names and their status and what they're supposed to be and, you know, a little bit of the past for each and every one of them. And you have, like, very little time to do when you're trying to get your story to begin, you know? So, honestly, I think they're doing a great job. Right now, I feel like episode three and episode four have found a really good rhythm on how to get the story moving and at the same time tell us kind of like the backstories between like for the characters not for every single character but for most of them and I really like that uh there are some things that were unclear right uh when uh, about how Ava di died right we all knew kind of that it had something to do with Frances um and when she realized that she was like in her test thing and like the, the cause of death was suicide, you kind of understand um, a little bit about how, how um, you kind of understand <laughs> a little bit about, uh, about how that's not possible, right? How, how could she do that when she wasn't able, she wasn't able to feed herself or clean herself you know uh so I, I understand that um i knew that something was off there right and and francis i i, I remember when when the 
father, right? The one that was in the morgue, kind of, when she was uh, there lying dead. Um, he was like, cause of death, and she didn't say it, right? I'm going to guess that because they wanted to keep it as a re revelation for Ava to find out later, right? Or for us to find out later. We could have known from the beginning, I guess, but they decided not to. Um, but yeah, that's the thing, right? That, but it did, there was some, you know, not the re, not, not the truth, I guess, because he was told not to put it there, but yet, and the file that the, the um, uh, mother superior and the other dude have, um, they know that, or they thought that she killed herself, right? Which is a terrible sin for, um, for Catholics, right? You go to hell, straight to hell if you do that. There's no way out. There's, you know, anyways. But the thing is, in my opinion, uh, that... I don't know if that's just a a, a, a a plot hole or they intended to do that. I don't know. But I kind of like, we kind of figure, figure it out that it was her, right? Uh, Frances, the one that did this. Um, which is so horrible, right? But it just gets to tell you. And, and all, like, this entire episode was very much about the the hypocrisy that the church has about certain things. When it's convenient for them, they will quote, quote a, a passage of the Bible and it will work for them, right? Things are, um, things take a turn for them very easily. They, they pick and choose what is right and what is wrong, right? So for, for Sister Frances, you know, she was freeing them. She was being a hero in her own way by killing them because they had no chance out there, right? So she was doing God's work. But she truly believed that. She truly, truly believed that. And that's scary as hell, right? Because if she believed that, how much damage she did. Like, she doesn't even remember how many people she killed. And I'm like, what the fuck? You know? You know what I mean? It's, it's just, it's insane. It's, it's insane. And the same thing happened with Father, what's his face? Ducat, Ducati, Durati, Duracell? I don't know. The, the, that, that one, you know, the, the one that is the, the big man, the big boss there. Um, he was like, you're not supposed to kill, right? I mean, you're a nun. You are a priest. Like, rule number one, do not kill, right? Um, and there he is, like, just whispering sweet nothings to Lilith ear, a very impressionable young woman telling her it's actually okay if you kill her and take the halo back. Like, if you think about it, we're actually protecting the order if we do this. Killing an innocent woman? Why not? Right? And it's such a hip, like the hypocrisy there, right? Because they're questioning what, 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 what the, um, uh, the art tech company is doing, you know, by opening the gates of hell. Um, and what they are doing by sending and by, by sending, honestly, more people down there as well. Right? Like how greedy they are for it. And like, I feel like Lilith was not questioning. I think Lilith was like, yes, this is my future right? This is the path I should take. But like, if God intended this, like, I'm going to walk my path and like, you know, but it's his insistency on like, you go get the girl 
and like basically saying, I don't care if you bring her back alive or not. He knew that she wasn't going to be going to be back uh, alive, be brought back alive. Uh, and he's okay with that, right? Because he's protecting. And, and that is just the worst thing. People, men, people in power generally uh, have is, is that is very dangerous is that they draw their own line. You know what I mean? And sometimes they will erase the line that they uh, put and move it forward just because it serves them right. And, you know, I, I kind of do like uh, Ava's kind of like point of view because she's not close to the church, even though she has lived in an orphanage her entire life and it's a religious one. She's not because she has seen the face of like the people behind it. And these are not is isolated cases. Like the fact that the church likes to point out one thing and not the other, because you know, like they say, if you sin or like, I don't remember what passage it is. Don't even ask me, but like, if you think sin or, or, or look at someone with lust in your eyes or something, you should guide, gouge your eyes out. I don't see people saying that. I don't see the church telling people to do that because that's so ba barbaric and like we have passed that moment. But like they choose and pick what is right for the moment. And, and you can't do that, especially when you have that much power in your hands, you know. Uh, do I believe that the church holds many secrets? Yes. Do I believe that they are like on this story about supernatural things. Not necessarily. Not, I don't know. I honestly don't know. There is a, a branch of the church and the Vatican that actually do exorcisms, right? So who am I to believe? Like I do believe in heaven. And if I believe in heaven, I believe in hell as well, right? So generally I do believe in that, but there are so many other things that affect humanity today that we can grasp, grasp and, and know, and we know that the church protect pedophiles. We know this, we know there are priests who have done so much damage, you know, to kids and what they do is just transfer them. They don't, they, I don't understand how is it that becoming a priest gets you absolved and you don't get to be judged like any other person. I, I just don't understand that. And, 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 I, I, and I don't understand how the church will protect that. And, and my main reason for not believing in the church and, 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 and as an institution, because my faith, it has nothing to do with the church. Um, is that I don't believe if God, if Jesus Christ, whatever superior source uh, uh, is out there, uh, will come to earth. I don't think he's going to be too happy with the church. I don't think that's where he's going to call. That's my home. You know, that those are my teachings. Uh, I, I really don't believe that. So for me, I don't, I have no respect for the church. And honestly, the church, you know, sending hits, killing people. I want to go past that. You know, I wouldn't go past them. They, they wouldn't do that. I truly believe that they would, in my opinion. I don't know. Um, anyways, what else happened on this um, episode? Um, so, yeah, let it, it's sent to basically kill Ava and take the halo from her. Um, but Mary is also going to be on the lookout for, for Ava, right? Because they now know that Shannon, since she also, I think, could go through walls, uh, Shannon was, um, had a secret room, right? And that she kind of knew that there was some kind of hit against her. And now, who could it be? The... Duracell, Duracell, what is his name? Ducati, Mercedes, I don't know his name, the father. I'm pretty sure that he, right? I mean, 
Shannon was is not related to Lilith, which means that even though there are six halo barriers bearers in her family, they are not consecutive, right? And Shannon might have been in the way. And they want to remove her just so Lilith could return and like they could hold and harvest the power. I don't know. Theory. Wild theory out there. Throwing it out there. I don't know. Um, but yeah, she kind of knew something was up, right? So she might have a secret room. And the only one that can go through walls without raising too much, you know, noise is um, Ava. So Mary is going to protect Ava, right? So I'm pretty sure that Lily is not about to kill her. Also because she isn't she like the warrior nun. So I'm pretty sure she's not going to be, be killed in the first season. Like not even halfway through the first season. So I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure nothing is going to happen to her. Um, but yeah. Anyways. I really... Um, I'm really curious about how that face-off is going to go. Uh, how Marion's going to help or not. Uh, pss, I have no idea. Um, anyways. What else happened? Well, JC abandoned his crew. Uh, his gang for Ava, which is kind of sweet, I guess. But I really thought, oh, bring Chanel as well. But Chanel decided to stay with the other two, which is like, oh, because the other two are kind of like boring. But JC and Chanel are really cool, and I, I really like them. So I don't know. Maybe she'll she'll be back. Um... I could definitely trade JC for Shell. <laughs> I'm kidding. JC, I have no problem with him other than... I have no problem with him, actually. No, absolutely nothing. He has done nothing wrong so far. So, anyways. Uh, but he abandoned them to go with Ava. And Ava was kind of like... She's kind of feeling like there's something still here for her. Uh, and she thought it was the fact that... She figured it out that she has been poisoned all these years and that Diego is kind of in danger as well. So um, she goes and saves him and kills Francis in the process, um, which, I mean, you are a hero because you are preventing a lot of deaths, uh, more deaths from this bitch. So that's a good thing. Um, I don't understand why the Tesseract or the Tesseract or the whatever, the demon, hasn't come back yet, even though she has used her powers already. And and I thought that he followed her, whatever she goes. But it hasn't showed up yet. Um, I don't know. Then, um, um, well, what happened with Ava? Oh, yeah. She has exploded, like, used her powers twice. No Tesseract so far. Um, but yeah, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of things going on. Lots of things. And I'm excited. They also, the nuns were able to take back the, the shield of faith, right? Which is good. But the other parts of the arm like the thing that the angel board um are mating to this thing that it's not complete yet and they need a power source and the the woman jillian julian whatever her name is figure out that she needs ava oh there's another person who wants ava uh to power the thing um but yeah, let's see what the hell is it that she opens at the end of the day. Because we don't know. I don't think that he knows that it's the gates of hell. Why will the armor open the gates of hell when he was an angel? Like, something doesn't add up to me, at least. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm excited. I'm excited for the next episode. I'm, I'm really excited. I, I don't know if I should just... Like, just binge the rest of the season, the season. Just go one after the other and just finish this season already. Um, if that's something that you guys will like, like, let me know in the comment section down below. I mean, we did have to, like, this week 
had to do up until episode six, right? But since there were some changes, maybe we can like just binge it. I mean, this month we were supposed to finish season one either way, so why not? Um, but let me know in the comment section down below. Um, I wanted to talk about something else, I think, that I'm forgetting. Mm, nah, I'm pretty sure. I mean, if I forgot already, it's not going to come back to me. <laughs> um, anyways, I really liked this episode. I really enjoyed it. Uh, and I cannot wait to watch more. So let me know if I should just binge the rest of the season and drop all the episodes one after the other. Let me know that on the comment section down below. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for all your support. You guys are amazing. Uh, give a lot of thumbs up. Uh, hearts if you're on Patreon. Uh, subscribe if you're on YouTube. And, you know, continue supporting for more. And for now, that's about it. Thank you so much, guys, for watching and for all your support. You guys are amazing. And that's it. I'll see you guys next time for more reaction videos for Warrior Nun. That's it. Bye, guys.